happy vlogmas so i'm just gonna give a second for people to hop on here and we'll get things started i'm gonna grab some reindeer ears for today no okay tomorrow get rid of them shoes because today we're getting comfortable we're gonna hang out and do a mukbang 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 however you want to say it I am bad at that. Okay, so welcome guys. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a mukbang. I'm gonna have some questions here I'm gonna answer. We'll um, drink them my Christmas egg nuts. And I have Taco Bell from earlier. Let's hope that there's not onions in everything because I don't like onions. And yes, you're seeing the horrifying glare from my iPad. So, if you're not familiar with what this is, basically, we talk and eat. It's kind of like just hanging out with your friends, but like, we're over social media. So, let's get started. I'm gonna start with food, though. Should I bring you guys over here? Let's come a little closer to the tree. Oh no. There we go. There we go. Nice and cozy down here. Let's see, what's the first question here? So the first question was, since we live in Hawaii, what do we like doing in our spare time? So living in Hawaii is just like living anywhere else. Like when you're not working, you have chores, you gotta do stuff around like town, like grocery shops, stuff like that. But for fun, I love to go to the beach. It's my favorite thing in the world, but my most favorite place in the world is the sandbar. It's out in Kaneohe Bay. Um, it's not the easiest place in the world to get to, but it's just so much fun because you can snorkel, you can go see all the animals, there's a couple of turtles, like it's an amazing place. I love it. So um, that's probably my most favorite thing to do in my spare time. What's everyone else's? Since we have live chat going on here, what do you guys like to do in your spare time? Let's see. I'm just going to turn down the volume on the music a little bit because I feel like it's too loud. But yeah, so this is a mukbang, so I will be eating. I have burritos, Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. That's another answer for you guys right there. If you're asking what food I like, I'll like these. So another question is, what was it? What's my biggest pet peeve? Okay. I guess like a pet peeve is like something that annoys you. My biggest thing is it's like when people aren't really upfront with you. I am a very like I like being upfront with people, but in a polite way. Like, hey, don't cut me off in line at Target because that's not cool. Like I don't like when people aren't like upfront and being like straightforward upfront. I don't know how do I say that. Treat me like a human. There we go. I, I don't like when people don't treat me like a human being. Like, we're all people. We all want people to take care of us. Like, we want to be respected. So, there we go. My biggest pet peeve is when we don't treat each other like humans. And it's Christmas time. We got to do that, right? You know, not just at Christmas time, but all year round. We're all people. We all live on the same planet. Let's treat each other like that. Okay. I'm going to eat more burrito. Um, if anyone else wants to pop a question up there, too. I have a couple written down from earlier, but... I will take questions live too. Food. Hmm. Hmm. I have a good one right here. If I can stop chewing. Um, who is your inspiration? I have a few. It depends on what you're talking about. I guess right now because we are doing Vlogmas and Christmas stuff, I have a couple people that I really, really like look up to in the vlogosphere. Um, I absolutely love Julian Solomita and Jenna Marbles. Like, they've always been like some of my most favorite. Um, another person that I'm just like, I just found this year, which I don't know how I didn't know about her, Zosa, Zoe, Zoe, Zoella, you know, um, Zosa, Zoe Sug. I think that's how you say her last name. If I'm not saying it right, I am so sorry. But 
she's so cool. Like, I love her stuff. It's just very wholesome, very, like, it's that huge, that cozy feeling, you know? So I absolutely love them. Um, it's very inspiring. Like, you know, I just love that it's, like, it's very real, too. Like, a lot of the YouTubers I follow now and a lot of the Instagrammers I follow are very real and very, very um, open about, like, what their lives are like and, like, about what they're doing. Um, Travel in Her Shoes. She's an Instagram influencer. I love her work because, like, not only does she, like, teach people about, like, hey, like, the different places she's going because she is a travel influencer. So she's living that dream life, the thing that I wish I could do so much. Like, all I want to do is travel and show people that although the world's a big place, it's accessible. And since we are all human beings, we can learn about each other. We can learn to understand each other. It just makes everything, you know, everyone just a little bit closer in that way. And, like, we can all get along a little bit better and just become, like, a global citizen. So, um, Traveler in Shoes is a really good example of that. She's, her name is Aggie. Oh, I love her to death. She's very personable with her community, with her social media community. She's another big inspiration for me. So, that was a really good question. Thanks, guys. Let me see. I'm gonna look for another question while I'm eating. But, like I said, right there on the live chat, please feel free. Pop up a question anytime. So, let's see. Hmm. Come on. I found lettuce, but not an onion. Uh, the next one is, do you speak any other languages? Kind of? So I know a little bit of sign language. Um, some of you might know this, some of you might not. I'm actually completely deaf on one side. Um, you know, like, it is kind of hard. Like, so, and I got really scared when I first lost my hearing because I lost it when I was 18. So it hasn't even been 10 years since I lost my hearing, it was right after I graduated high school. Um, so I taught myself some sign language, which was really good because I lucked out. I had a roommate who knew a little bit of sign language and I got horrible laryngitis bronchitis while I was away at school and I had to use sign language to communicate when I needed food, water, stuff like that because I got put on bed rest. So I know a little bit of sign language, like enough that I could definitely get by. Same with like Spanish, uh, Spanish and French. I'm literate in both sit down I can read it I see a sign I can read it when someone speaks to me I think it has to do with the ear I need people to repeat stuff and like obviously where I live is not a great place to practice my Spanish or my French but you know like I heard it enough back home like Spanish that I think that's how I slowly over time became more understanding in it um, I myself am part Hispanic so I really have tried to learn more Spanish just because like it's from like you know part of my family's culture and like it's just something I want to make sure I know just because I feel like it is a big part of you know where I'm from where my ancestors are from so on and so forth because I am from California and it's a very large Hispanic community there um, so I'm not I don't I'm not fluent in other languages but conversational and literate in other languages for sure and I recommend everyone to try learning it different languages because it does change the way you think I didn't realize that until I started doing that because I can listen to Italian now and be like, I think I know what you just said. And just be like, da, 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 da. it's like, yes, that is what she said. Another one is Danish. You know, um, some of you might have been following me back uh, last year when I went to Denmark for a month and a half. And after being there for a month, like, I can kind of pick up what people are saying. And then, you know, I got to see my wonderful friends from Denmark again. They came to my wedding just like two weeks ago before all this craziness happened. Um, and it was like, you know, after a couple days of being around them, like, I'm starting to understand it again. Like, okay, yeah, I got it. So, you know, definitely learn another language. Like, um, on my list right now are not only to become fluent in French and Spanish and sign language, but I also will learn Danish, German. Um, I want to learn Mandarin. I took a class in it. I'm not very good. <laughs> um, I can understand it. Like, so in the class, like, I was really good at, like, understanding the phonetics behind it. But because I am half deaf and I have the ringing in my ear, it's really hard to catch the inflection. So I'm learning Mandarin. I want to learn Cantonese as well, just because like I know they're two, they're basically two different languages in the book Chinese. So it's kind of cool. Like I really want to learn all of that. So yes, that is the long winded version of that answer. What is my annoying habit? Let me eat some food. Is that an annoying habit? Me. Mmm. Mmm. I chew my nails. I don't now. As you can see, they're still kind of nice. 
because I got them done for the wedding. And I found that if I put gels on my nails, I don't bite them. I've always been a nail biter though. I don't know why. It's like the more stressed I am, I do it without thinking. So when I stop chewing my nails, I would pick my nail polish off and then I'd chew them again. So with the gels, I can't. So yeah, that's my annoying bad habit. Even I admit that's a bad habit. I need to stop. So I'm 25 and I still bite my nails. Okay. Hmm. This is a really good one. Oh, I wish I'd seen this one after the languages. Where would you like to visit? Everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Um, anyone knows, by any chance, where I can get one of those giant maps? It's, like, black, and it has, like, the scratch-off stuff, so, like, underneath it's either colorful. I know there was one that was, like, gold underneath. There's another one that was white. That's, like, you scratch off each country and each state you've been to or each province you've been to. I really want one of those because my goal is to go everywhere. Like, even in the US, I haven't been to all 50 states, so I really want to go everywhere. Um, you know, we're talking about honeymoons now. Um, we're probably not going to get to go until next year because of everything that's going on between now and February. But, like, you know, we know we want to go overseas for that. We know we want to maybe make an extended trip out of it, so everywhere probably I'm gonna say like right now my big ones would be like Africa I really want to go to Kenya um, I want to go and see some wildlife I'm a big animal lover as you guys know um, I really really want to go um, through Scandinavia again but I want to go to more than just Denmark I love Denmark and I want to go back so bad and I want to show Chris it but I also want to go through um, take the train and go from Denmark through Sweden, up through Sweden, cross and go to Norway and see the Northern Lights. I would love to do a trip like that. It just seems so much fun. Um, it just sounds great. I love it. And then um, another place I really want to go is Iceland. It's just another one of those places like, oh, I want to go. So there's a lot. Um, a big one on our list is Japan too, um, especially before the Olympics. We want to go before it gets really, really busy and everything. Like I know it's like going to be crazy <laughs> over there once the Olympics are on. Um, Chris is a huge fan of the Gundam series, it, like a bunch of different series within the Gundam universe. So we want to go and check that out too. I just love Japan because like I've had, you know, I love anime. Well, not so much now as much in high school, but I still enjoy anime. I love the culture. You know, I have friends there. So we really want to go out to Japan too. So, and like here in Hawaii, like it's just a hop, skip and a jump. So we're thinking about it. Let's see. As I stare at this and see another piece of lettuce. I don't know why. I don't like lettuce in the bean and cheese burritos from Taco Bell. I think it kind of makes them kind of weird. Oh. Okay. Um, what's the most interesting thing you've read or seen this week? Let's see. So honestly, this week has been kind of weird cause in general because first we were cleaning house like Monday, Tuesday, because obviously wedding was a week ago. And then we had like a week of, so it kind of went like this. November went prep for everyone to get here for the wedding. Then the week before the wedding, we had people showing up and like, you know, we're still prepping for the wedding on top of seeing everyone when they got here. Then we had Thanksgiving, the week of the wedding. And then two days later was the wedding. And then the week after the wedding, we still had people in town. So we were still go, 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 go. Like seeing people hang out with people to like that. And then we had that weekend, just like a day or two. Like, uh, I think the last people left on Sunday and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we were cleaning house and prepping because, um, there was a medical situation that we knew was going to be going on. Um, and like, you know, we had to prep because all that happened Wednesday and didn't get home until yesterday <laughs> so i haven't really seen very much interesting stuff i've been watching christmas movies at the hospital it's not me by the way for anyone who's asking it wasn't me who got sick but um yeah i i guess like there's one i think it's called the christmas calendar it's a netflix movie it's the most interesting thing i've seen in the past few days it's very cute heartwarming it just kind of was like oh i really like that it kind of spoke to me but i guess it's because like She's this girl who comes from a small town. She wants to be a photographer. She wants to travel the world. 
and she wants to have a gallery. It's like stuff that definitely speaks towards me because those are all things I would love to do and I've always wanted to do. And look, I made it to Hawaii, so next step is the world, right? So, yes. Uh, let's see. I'm not even halfway through my first burrito. I have another one. Taco Bell, help. Who else loves Taco Bell? Raise your hand. I love Taco Bell. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm gonna probably just do this one and then I'm gonna go and finish cooking dinner for Chris. Unless you guys have any questions out there that you want me to answer, but I'm going to probably wrap up with this one if no one sends anything my way. Um, this one's, what is one message you'd like to give to everyone out on social media? Let's see. I guess, don't live your life trying to look like everybody's A-Real, because... You know, Ariel, which is like the stuff that people publish. Like, don't try and live your life the same way that these people are putting out on social media because it's not real. Like, real life is like what's going on in our house right now. Like, we have one person who's sick. You know, the ho half the house is a mess. We've been running around like headless chickens. I had to take two days off of Vlogmas. You know, not knowing what's going on half the time because that's real life. <laughs> like, don't sit there and be like, I'm not good enough or I'm not special enough because your life doesn't look like someone else's. Like, I would love to be like different vloggers and stuff like that, like to have these like picture perfect lives I see. But that's why it's out there. It's like these beautiful picture perfect lives that you aspire to and it's not real. And it's like, it makes you feel better watching it because it makes you feel like you can do it. And like, I do to a certain extent, like, you know, try to live like, a better, more driven life and everything like that, especially since I started vlogging more. But that's because I realized as a person and myself, like it's a creative outlet for me and I feel just so much more open and happy and connected with you guys with doing stuff like this. Like I really am glad I decided to do Vlogmas live like this and for everyone who's watching later on, like I'm just glad I get to share everything with you guys because you're my family, you're my Ohana. so. I really appreciate the opportunity and just don't compare yourselves to everyone's a real because your B real is your life and that is the reality and it's like you know what I put out there it's my a real I admit that I want everything to look good I want it to be pretty I you know I really would love to have a picture-perfect life but I can I'm the first one to admit it's not picture-perfect things are insane all the time so like you know I have a list of things I want to do I have a list of things that probably won't get done ever but hey that's how it is um one other thing is it's like you know because i know this is one message but i have one more <laughs> just because it is the christmas season um the other one is be kind um it's been a weird year it's been a weird couple of years uh, there's been a lot of heartbreak around the world there's been a lot of bad things there's been a lot of good things so just you never know what people are going through so be kind show love like, it doesn't matter who you are, what you believe in. Like, it's not that hard to be nice to one another. So, just reach out. Like, you know, if you feel like someone's going through something, or even if you just, like, haven't talked to them a while, just send them a message. Say, hey, how you doing? Um, but yeah, that's my message. That's what I have to say. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me again for this really weird mukbang. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and by the way... Taco Bell, I stan you. Taco Bell, forever. Um, but yeah, don't forget, I do my Vlogmas every day um, between now and December 25th. I might go until New Year's. We'll see how things go. But every day at 6 p.m., I'm doing a live stream. If it's going to be different, I'll post go ahead here, and then I will be posting everything on YouTube as well. Um, I'm hoping to get that done maybe tomorrow. Maybe Monday. We'll see how things go. Because like I said, things are insane. But I'll get all that stuff posted to YouTube. And everyone who is watching this on YouTube, I got it posted. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share, please. I really want to grow the family. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.